we blew any chance we had to win that game in the first half when uh, we got out of character, started trying to get in a shooting match uh, with a team that shoots the ball way better than us. We had the game at our pace. We had the game where we had it, could have won the game and uh, just gave it all away in the last six minutes of the first half. A lot of breakdowns defensively. Uh, and I would say this, when you give a team that's got that kind of firepower, we just gave way too many chances. Way too many chances. You cannot, eventually the dam's gonna break. You just, you keep giving that team extra chances to shoot the ball, they're gonna light you up. They've been do, doing it all year, that's why they're 29 and two. So, the, not, not a whole lot to say when you get whipped that bad physically, dominated physically. Eventually the dam's gonna break. And, that's what happened to us. Nick, what was the reasoning behind sitting Jaron in the final six plus? Uh, we weren't going to win. He was not rotating defensively. The difference between college coaching and the pros is that is right there. See here, if you, it doesn't matter. If you don't rotate defensively, you don't rebound. Plus, he's had a long year. What's the point in getting hurt? Was there a sense of fatigue, maybe not just with him, but with the whole team? No. Since no. No. He's the only guy that's needed, you know, needs to get, get a little bit of rest. Was there any other message sent with who you were playing towards the end of the game outside of? No. No. I mean, the game was, we weren't going to win the game. I don't send messages. If I got something to say, I say it. You guys have been around me long enough. I asked the other guy the same question, but to have a biggest loss of the, the year at the end of the season, which isn't indicative of the year you It only had. counts for one, man. Regular season's over. But uh, around here, it's like I said, I may call Coach Fickle. Um, we'll see. I don't know if his guys, when they start spring ball, but uh, we'll have tryouts tomorrow at 3 o'clock to see who gets on. I'm not being funny. 3 o'clock tomorrow, we'll have tryouts to see who gets to go to Memphis. See, the beauty about college coaching, again, is – you get to do things as long as you're the coach. You get you get too much credit and you get all the blame, which is that's the way it is. You got to accept it. If you can't accept it, you, you shouldn't be in our business. But you get to decide how you're going to play. And around here, we've won a lot of games because nobody gets 18 offensive rebounds against us. It just doesn't happen. And you play a great team like that, uh, you got no chance if you give them that many offensive opportunities. No no chance. What Lisa is it? Their spacing that. Helps them on the offensive side. Great passing, great shooting. They find the open man and they make shots. And they made a lot of one. Let's give them credit now. They made, you know, Davis, he, he, he made a lot of just guarded shots. But again, it's just opportunity. They got 65 shots. You give, it, it's no different than baseball. You know, you give a really good hitter and you keep, you can't get him out and he sees every pitch you've got and eventually he stays in it. You've got to throw him too many pitches down the middle, he's going to hit one out. No different than football. You know, you're playing, you got to keep those guys off the field. Your defense, our defense got tired. Jaron couldn't stand up in the last six minutes. He was asking him in the game. So, because we're on, we were on defense the whole game almost. So, that's what happened. What are the tryouts for tomorrow, Mick? To see who gets to play in Memphis. See who gets to get on the plane to go to Memphis. See, the beauty of college is, see, you get it, you, you can keep your scholarship. But if you're, you're going to get on the plane and represent the team that I coach, you're going to block out. Yeah. And then you're going to go after the ball. Th that's not really rocket science. You're seriously going to do this? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Okay. Well, where do you think their heads are at right now? Oh, I don't know. I, uh, it's another again, beauty, and they need to worry about where my head's at. They need to be embarrassed just like their coaches. Get your ass whipped, you should be embarrassed. Did Davis win player of the year today? I don't know. I voted for him. That's all I can tell you. I mean, best player on the best team, I don't think it's really right. better today than Houston. But yeah, but leagues make no sense. They, they ask you to have your vote in before today. That really makes a lot of sense. Yeah, they, that's what they asked for. But I, I voted for him like a week ago. 
can't vote for your own player. Right. Anything else? Is, is Jaron tired, just generally? Uh, he's beat up. There's no doubt physically he's beat up. Right. But I would say this in fairness, you, you know, uh, this has been a concern of mine all year because I've been doing this a long time. So, like, I, I'll take you all the way back because my, my guys made it in. My old school made it last night. Um, Murray State. We, we, we won. We had a great team my first year, my second team. We, we were young like this team. A lot of guys that didn't play. So my concern was really this year has been all of them getting tired because they haven't had to battle the way Gary had been trained to battle. You know, this is Trey's first time battling all year. Nazis. So I've been trying to – well, my goal was all year was, you know, we, we limited practices and used to keep Trey scrapping it. I, I know how – when you've done this, you realize young teams, inex, inexperienced teams, really struggle. And let's say that their talent just supersedes it, right? So like you, you watch Duke, they, you know, they get Zion back, their talent supersedes it. You watch them without him, you know, you watch other teams play and they're older and they got veteran guys that they can just keep grinding out wins. And I'm really proud of Trey, Nas, Justin, like they, these guys have been able to grind out wins. You got to realize we played Nevada last year, Nas and Keith didn't get in the game. They start for us. They have to produce for us all season. So, like, my concern all year was not just Jaron, all of them. Can they keep showing up night after night after night to win 25 games? Mm. You know, but the same thing, that you know, they, they should be embarrassed right now. See, and when you're in a program, a real program, it can never be okay to lose. If you were to ask me what's the most important thing you learned from Bob Huggins a long time ago, it's the last time I – got to sit next to him was 2000 to, to the spring of 01. It was never okay to lose. He never let it be okay to lose. Same thing with my father, same thing with Rick Pitino. It's never okay to lose. It, 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 because if you, the minute you allow that, you're in deep trouble, really deep trouble. So for us, tomorrow, we're going to have practice and we're going to see who wants to play like we play at Cincinnati. It's not okay to not rebound to have other guys, to have a freshman for Houston get 11 rebounds, to have him getting rebounds over guys that are in their fourth year. Trey's a redshirt junior. It's not okay. The minute it becomes okay, you're done. If I was an athletic director, that's how I would evaluate coaches. And then you guys write things like the guy's lost his team. That's why I focus on that. That's what I would tell young coaches. Because if I was someone on the outside writing or I was an athletic director, that's what I would look for. Does this guy, do these guys play for him? Do they fight for that coaching staff? Do they scrap? That's what Luke Fickle's built with our football team. That's what Coach Clark has built with our women's basketball team. And that's what we've built here. That's why we win. But today, we just we got outplayed. They got a great team. We gave them too many opportunities to damn broke. But it can't be okay. That, that's my point. I mean, it just can't be okay. If I allow that to be okay, the day I allow that to be okay, well, I'll be in trouble. My career will be in jeopardy. That would be what I would try to tell anybody. I don't care if you're me or you're Scott Rogers, who's the best women's coach in Ohio. And in high school basketball is a good friend of mine. It's not okay. So, but we had a great season, and these guys fought through it. I did, I'll be honest, you know, I didn't know. I kept wondering, you know, is Trey going to hit a wall? Is Nas going to hit a wall? Can I keep him there? Can I keep him there? But that had nothing to do with it. You've got you, you know, you to give the other team credit. Like being a coach, you come in here and rant and rave about your team. You give that team that many opportunities with the ball, they're going to score. And that's what happened. Thank you, guys. I'll do it. So this was a tough battle on the glass. We just was trying to fight. They got the better of us today. Trayvon, can you describe kind of what happened when you were up 47-41, about 13 and a half left? What changed from that point on to the end of the game? We had a lot of, a lot of mistakes. Defensively, they hit open threes. Got the game tied up, and then just started going from there. They started hitting threes like the big one. That was it. I think watching it, some might say, hey, that the team that wanted it more won the game, but I mean, was it? It was obviously something you guys wanted. Was it just running out of gas at that point in the game? No, it was just missing mistakes. Not getting matched up, not talking. It was just missing mistakes, and that's why we went wrong.
we let the wrong people shoot. Like we did a great job the first time we played them, and we didn't do the same this game. How frustrating is it to have the biggest loss of the season <clears throat> at the very end that's not indicative of the year you guys have had up to this It's season? frustrating because our seniors, they really put a lot into this. And we want every every go around. We like me for me and him next. We gonna always wanna go out with a bang on this game. But hey, on to the next one. We got a we got a tournament, we got one. Did you guys feel like Coach was sending a message at all in terms of who he was putting out there towards the end of the game, or was it just a case of it nah, it's just whatever whatever strategic he had in his head, that was that was him. Can't speak for him. How much you guys use a, a loss like this? Obviously, it's not something you want, but you know, the biggest part of the season is coming. How, how can this game motivate you for that? Uh, hopefully, it just get everybody head straight. The, one, the younger guys who who will need more experience, hopefully they're ready, they fired up, and we all can just lock in and focus.